Um, I suppose the reason we chose the Dairy Master Moo Monitors was um, for their accuracy. I suppose now as we move forward in dairy farming and start using a lot more sex semen, accuracy is key and it's quite an expensive way of AIing cows using sex semen so it's imperative to know when is the exact time to do them and that's, that's where we need it to be. I made the decision at the beginning of this year to start looking at health and fertility collars. Um, given the, the way the spring had played out for us and the expense incurred during the spring, we weren't sure whether we'd go ahead with the investment this year. So I had tail painted the cows for the pre-breeding season. We've now fitted the collars and the collars are up and running and that's the end of the tail painting days for me. We had the team from Dairy Master come down, they fitted our base station unit in our yard which is now going to pick up all the information from the collars and transfer it to our handheld devices. The lads showed me how to put on a few of the collars. It was a quite a simple process, pretty, pretty easy just to scan the code and assign the number and assign the collar to the cow. It really simplifies the AI process. I get the alert on the phone that there's a suspected heat. Then I suppose when the system is fully automated with us at home, um, the cow will draft out. We're not quite there yet. The next investment in the farm will be a drafting crate. So at that stage, we'll have our breeding system fully automated at that point. We're just over four weeks into our breeding season. Cows have been coming into heat fairly well for us. We began our process with tail paint on the cows. We've quickly given up on that. Any cow that was in heat and the tail paint was scratched, we're really after buying into the idea of the collars. They're working really, really well for us. And I suppose where they have to come into their own for us this year is we're using a lot of sex semen this year. And any cows that are showing optimum heats for use of sex semen, we're therefore using the sex semen with those. And any cows that we're getting a little bit early or a little bit late, we're using traditional semen on those cows. So hopefully from the first week of repeats, we've seen that sex semen is holding a good bit better this year than it had been last year for us here on farm. On the first week where the collars had been fitted and the base station had been up and running. One Sunday evening I got an alert when I was in the house. The cows were about 650 metres away from the yard at the time. I got an alert saying that we had a behavioural alert with a cow. I went to the field to notice a cow had bloat and she was in a, in a bad way with bloat. So we brought her back to the yard, we treated her and by the following morning we could see from rumination levels that the cow was starting to recover from her ordeal and she didn't need a uh, vet intervention. I suppose if this had been without the collars the following morning we'd have had an extremely sick cow in the yard if not a dead cow in the field and she definitely would have needed vet intervention at that point. So we're really delighted with how the behavioural alerts are working for us here on farm. Just as we end week four I suppose we're a small little bit late just picking out the non cycling cows. I ran the report on the app and we have four cows who are not cycling. So today on farm, we're getting the vet to have a look at those, to differentiate why they're not coming into heat and intervene in whatever manner is appropriate. So this morning we had our vet on farm. Um, he went through the non-cycling list with us. We had five cows who hadn't cycled within within the first period of our breeding season and three of those we inserted cedars and two we injected with prostaglandin. Normally we would have been using a lot more prostaglandin because we would have been injecting cows that we would have missed but this year we had three cows in, uh, with cedars that weren't cycling so we inserted cedars and we had two cows that we hadn't picked up and we injected with prostaglandin. I go away a lot of evenings hurling with my, uh, with my two young lads and we have trainings on weeknights and it's great to be able to leave the farm still having the knowledge to know that their cows are being supervised at all times.